And now, Pogtendo presents Side Quest Cinema. Welcome back, guys, to Scary Spooky Month on the Podtendo Podcast, where we talk about movies on a video game podcast, but it kind of makes sense because they're a movie based on a video game, like, almost exactly. Like, for some reason, there's like, ah, in case people don't want to play Silent Hill 3 or 1, you know, and get the full story, they can watch this movie and be kind of more confused. That's what they're going for. <laughs> I'm your co-host, yeah. Mick, and I'm joined every episode by my lovely and talented co-host, Tyson. What's going on? Oh, well, you know, living the dream, uh, being confused, watching <laughs> watching these movies. Oh, so much confusion, um, yeah. Because it's, it's a good time. <laughs> if, if you ever just, like, get really confused and or if everything's just, like, super, like, makes sense in your life, just stop, stop that and just watch some Silent Hill. And then everything will be confused and upside down and... What's reality? Why do people do the things they do? So yeah. it's uh, yeah, no, good times. That's fair. No, that's uh, I'm, yeah, oh boy, it's a, it's a, it's an experience. This movie, we're here. Uh, I don't know. We said we'd do it, and then I watched it, and I was like, man, I hate the fact that we have to talk about this movie. So we'll make it short and sweet because we're talking about actual Silent Hill on Halloween. I'm kind of excited about that podcast. So we'll get this one over with because it's just kind of a thing that happened. Silent Hill Revelations was a sequel to the movie we talked about two weeks ago. Wow. It was released October 26, 2012 in Canada and November 28th in France. The runtime of this movie was 95 minutes. Hmm. That's not pretty pretty short and sweet. Bet you they get to the scares right away. The budget of this movie was $20 million. The box office off five or $55.9 million return. The director was M.J. Bassett. It was produced by Samuel Hadadid Don Carmody. Cast included uh, Adeline Clemens, Kit Harrington, Deborah Kara Unger, Malcolm McDowell, Carrie Ann Moss, and Sean Bean. Yes, yes. It's, I, I, it's not the actor's fault why this movie is not great because it's a decent cast yep, yep. decent mm-hmm. cast you'd see a lot of these people and you're like hey these are these are actors they're people yeah, they're okay. I've, yeah. I've seen them in things yeah yep. and then you watch them in this travesty oh and you're gosh. like wow this movie makes all these actors look bad oh, it's just it's terrible <laughs> let's see if the development details can tell us anything so due to working on another movie Gans, the director from the first one, would not return for the sequel, and the studio went ahead and hired Roger Avery to direct. After Avery was sent to prison following killing someone with his car, the studio released a statement saying Gans would not be returning because they wanted to make a sequel that would be more accessible for larger audiences versus the weird avant-garde French cinema three-hour masterpiece that was Silent Hill. The director's cut, Oh, yes. Right, of course, of course. I was gonna say I'm like three hours long. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot that somebody made a three hour long. Or it was like it was something movie. like it was bulky, like two forty. And the other movie's just like hour forty. So I'm like, there's an hour of her just like walking around solving puzzles, looking at this oh. damn fluid and being like, like how do I get the coin out of the hand? I just don't understand. And you're like, oh, I pour the acid on it. I'm like, why? Why would that be a thing? I yes. Do? Or her just trying to vaguely uh, read some like. Uh, bloody notes oh, perfect. and some like uh, a poem yep. to try to figure out the note melody of a song oh, piano at 5 p.m i don't know what that means great so like that that was cool uh they worked carefully to use the mythology from the first movie and silent hill 3 the game there are many easter eggs for fans to appreciate but the production knew that they might disappoint fans since it isn't silent hill 3 the movie In 2012, Bassett, the director, spoke about how this movie was made in collaboration, and she wished she had stood up for her original vision, instead of trying to tie the game and the film's canon together, as it created contradictions and retcons. She apologized if anyone didn't like this film. Well, Bassett, we forgive you? 
Yeah. Do we? Well, the you problem is, I don't know if we a- forgive you or not. Trying to ma- anyone trying to make sense of this? It's like, I get it. It's Silent Hill. It, it's like. Well, it's just, no, it's the, the Don Draper meme at this point. Like, she's forgiving us, but, like, I don't think about you at all. So I guess you're forgiven in the sense that you didn't, like, affect me at all in my life. So. Yeah. Um, mm. Sean Bean was confused when he got the script why his character's name was changed in the direct sequel movie. Yep, that's a good point, Sean Bean. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great, accurate uh, question. Why am I Harry Mason now? I feel like I had a different name in the last film. <laughs> Wasn't my name different? <laughs> well, that seems odd. No explanation? No, you're just always Harry Mason. Okay. You've always been Harry Mason, don't you know? Yeah, okay, awesome. Sweet, cool. Uh, oh my god. Filming began in March 2011 in Ontario. I think lots of production happened in Toronto. Unlike the first movie... Mm, that, that explains a lot. <laughs> so many, <laughs> so many production quali- yep. quality questions. Uh, unlike the first movie, they actually composed original music for this film rather than just use the soundtrack from the game. Did we talk about that during the first movie? Um... Probably not, okay. but sound. Remember the soundtrack being not bad, and in this one, it was. It, it, it's it's Silent Hill adjacent, but it sounds just kind of like. Well, I have a theory about what happened with this film. I don't. We can get into it at any point, but also it's like Silent Hill has a couple like couple songs, but for the most part, sometimes it's just like static yeah. sounds. Yeah, true, true. Well, that's what they, like, but they use that soundtrack primarily in the first one. Like, I think it's only music lifted from the game or whatever, borrowed or licensed from the game, right? So this one, they kind of tried to create their own, but it kind of just sounds like that generic death metal that, like, Resident Evil was doing at the time. Yeah, there's a lot of Resident (sighs) Evil But, like, Resident Evil, like, 4, the one where they're in the prison in L.A., and this movie kind of feel like they exist in the same universe. I'm like, I kind of feel like this just looks like Alice Prison fighting zombies at certain LA. points. Prison in L.A., man. Apparently, I don't know my RE games. Is that is that six? No, no, in movies. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah it's you, like the you. one Afterlife or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the one where they're in a desert. No, no, it's like the next in- one. Yep. Yeah, and it's just yep. like kind of like all or any of the later ones where it's just kind of everything's like overly kind of CGI and like kind of washed out. Oh, this movie looks oh. a lot like that. And then just randomly being like Claire Redfield's here. And this movie, they're just like uh, Harry Mason is here. Or maybe like a trucker shows up then and he's like, hey, yo, I'm from Silent Hill Origins. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, or you can count on one hand the 3D effects, which they clearly shoot that was the thing at the time yeah I'm like ah yes i know when this movie came out as soon as i saw those effects and i was like mm, this is that 3d period where it's like no there's two scenes or something jumps out yep. screen so that 3d glasses was like that was worth mm-hmm. it right mm-hmm. yeah no that's it, it was just that awkward effect that one awkward effect uh yeah so that is the development details of this movie so hmm. all right so we do you, you, you think we liked it based on the fact that we're going to be, ha- this podcast is going to be like under 30 minutes. It's going to be our, our shortest official side quest cinema ever. We'll, we'll try to make it short and sweet. Yeah. I was like, again, the game's so good. We're talking about it on Halloween. I'm really excited. It's, it's good. And I'll actually release it this year as opposed to when I didn't release aliens three, although aliens three, the game does not compare to aliens one and two versus silent Hill. The game is vastly better than the first two movies. So yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. All right. Uh, first memories of this. Now you guys know what the details look like. We're not going to even talk about a pop way back machine because I'm like, I just don't want to spend more time on this. Pop cultural significance. Also, we're just going to review this film. And get out of here. So first memories. That's what we got to do to first, though. Uh, I think I'd say I would maybe saw a commercial for this movie. But since I don't have any history with like the first movie and had zero interest in the game, I didn't watch this one. Beside maybe like, and I was also an RE fanboy. So I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Silent Hill sucks. Ari's better. And then I know me and my wife watched it a couple years ago, and she seems that she remembers a couple things about it, but like I couldn't tell you anything about Kit Harrington. At some point, they're in a school. They're just like, I don't know. They're just very for- forgettable, This whole both these movies. Like, maybe a little more now that I'm like, oh, I played the game. I kind of get the first one. Okay, cool. But like the second one, I'd be like, ugh, what a waste. Terrible, terrible thing. First memories. Tyson, do you have any first memories of this fun, fun film? Uh, well, uh, 
especially since I was still kind of hanging around with those people that are big fans of the first okay. one. So I think we I think we watched this, but it was so boring that like I yeah I I remember this being on the TV and I definitely did not watch this movie. There's like that boring scene where it's like still they're like 45 minutes into this movie and they're still not at Silent Hill. Um, I couldn't care less. Um, I remember that. That was about my first memories of this movie being like, yeah, I remember that kind of seeing that movie mm-hmm. and it meandering and having no point to it. So sick. Cool. Yeah, that's my first memories. Awesome. I'm glad we're <clears throat> we podcast about these things. It seems uh important. It seems important, but. Much like our terrible plot summary, guys. I put so much effort into this. This big bit paragraph. Uh, let's get to that. We can review. And then, guys, we're out of here so fast. Oh, I'm so excited. This is like our Halloween treat to ourselves. Because I have even a funny game on the Silent Hill game podcast. Like, I'm really excited to get to the end of it. Because there's a fun game Tyson gets to play. And he'll laugh. But we just got to get through this. All right. Terrible plot summary of Silent Hill. Revelations. Woo. Years after the end of the first movie, Heather, the girl from the first movie, is haunted by Silent Hill. And her mom is trapped there. And Sean Bean gets kidnapped there. So Kit Harrington takes her to Silent Hill. But he almost stops her because he is evil now. They enter Silent Hill 30 minutes into the 90-minute movie. Kit Harrington is kidnapped. Uh, Heather meets Dahlia, and then that just goes nowhere. She escapes a mannequin monster, runs into Pyramid Head before rescuing Kit Harrington and escaping to a carnival. Kit Harrington tries to distract some guys and is kidnapped, but they find Heather, and she meets Dark Alessa on a fire carousel. She hugs it out, goes to meet the evil cult uh, Carrie Ann Moss, who is evil, and fights Pyramid Head. She loses, and then Sean Bean stays to find Rose, that's his wife from the first movie, and Kit Harrington and Heather escape via a semi-truck, like the one from The One Game. That's the movie. Yeah, that that's kind of what happens. Uh, I was like, uh, yep, no, that's pretty much everything, so cool. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's... Uh... A lot of exposition or just like scenes of her running away from monster being like a um, lot of that a lot of that <laughs> like this is one of those movies where it's like yeah, yeah they... the, you could have like you wrote 30 minutes worth of material and you just stretch this out I know I would have stretched out a scene yeah no I it was <sighs> just I don't know that's that was it guys it's yeah I don't even know what to say. Like, it is just a series of... It's nothing. It's just a nothing experience. <laughs> like, like that, it's just, it just doesn't... You, you, you forgot the part about the ambulance. Uh, and she brought the ambulance in. And then the she gave... She, what's that actor's name? Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell, but, the amulet. And then he turned into a monster then, and she shot yeah, him. Yeah, then she like takes him and... And then that was the end of that plot line. That's it. That's the whole thing. And then they're like, oh, hopefully you give us this, you give us this, this amulet. Yeah. He, make sure you have this amulet. Okay. All right. Um, uh, review. Favorite part of the movie. Got his, what's your favorite part? Hmm? Um, you go first. Uh, I said the one minute scene where the nurses were there because they were kind of like creepy in the first one. Although I said like, oh, you guys should do like less nurses in just like a room and like have it poorly lit. And this one they did less nurses, but gave them all like more cleavage and, and and lit it better. So they weren't as creepy. Had you versus had you just like turn the lights down a little bit, but they had boobs. So like that was cool. And and then one time you see a girl who, whose boobs are out and like, she turns into plastic. Oh yeah. Cause those are like, cause like guys like this movie. So you have to do that. But there was like those parts, but like, yeah, I, yep. I, I, I like it just wasn't done well. <laughs> like, like clearly they're actors, and like they paid these girls in makeup to like move like that, and then they just kind of like wash it out with fast cuts and poor lighting, and there's no tension. Like this isn't a scary movie. Or like the cinematography is like, oh no, look at those legs. Yeah. Look, look at this upward shot of one of their heads, and you're like, ooh. That's the thing. Like, there's no gore. You don't really see anything. Like, it's not a scary movie. You're not psychologically. You're like, oh. No, the goriest scene is kind of that the beginning where they're like eating. She's all of a sudden transported into like the everybody's getting mutilated and everybody's eating all the flesh and everything. I'm like, that's kind of the goriest scene. Yeah. But it's, um, that's about it. Yeah, that's like, yeah. it's, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, my, 
I gotta pick a favorite part. Um, hmm. I really like the parts with Sean Bean. Oh yeah, because I'm like, like the mythology of Sean... how did she come back to the real world? Sure. Yeah. No, that's a good one. I like the mythology of yeah, this okay. universe. Okay. I, I just wish it was handled better because sure. it's like. But yeah, for the most part, this is this movie is a is a is a is a absolute mess yeah. from start to finish. Oh. It's like the, I can't I can't name good things about this movie because it's just scenes that happen. That's it. And like she just runs it's around. Not good acting. With her it's not. Yeah, <laughs> no. It's not scary. Oh, it's not. It's just uh, nothing. Or how about, how about the bad makeup that clearly looks like a high school plays makeup, oh. or like everybody's costumes that look like. They literally went to Goodwill and were like, just wear more jackets. Well, and it's just kind wear of... Wear like 18 yeah, jackets. It's just, and it's just a replete of almost like the first movie. Where it's just like, remember well, all the stuff she did in the first movie? What if she just did in this one? Like, she, yeah. she, she meets the fire. And then the they fire. just exposition it over instead it. Of a, like, yeah, instead of a, she meets the little girl and there's like a fire tornado. What if she's on a fire carousel before she goes and fights the other person before the monster shows up and kills everyone? Just deus, deus ex machinas. And then they leave. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, most notable scene a part of this movie so you haven't seen it for a while and you're like ah, pff, boy that movie that came up so how about the opening carnival scene huh Heather being weird in the school uh, that's it nothing oh, yeah. interesting happens for the first third of the movie so those are the only two scenes I could think of and Kit, Her- Kit Harrington's introduced being like what I can't I can't follow that introduction oh, aren't I clever uh, all right so that's the first third of the movie again all right so we meet Dahlia that goes nowhere the plastic yep. naked girl the mannequin monster, oh, yeah. yep. pyramid head. The the one random girl that gets saved only to be Die eaten two minutes later. Yeah, within like literally two yeah, minutes. Yeah, uh, uh, the the killer zombie nurses, uh, the carousel mm-hmm. part with dark slash emo Alessa, the the yep. pyramid head when she when he fights the blade head lady. Yep. Yeah. That, that's Which kind of it. Randomly was this one chick, the one main yeah she's like the cult chick vincent so kit herring's mother who's like the leader of this different sect of the cult who's trying to bring alessa back to awaken this dark god and she's evil and she goes out and like Mm -hmm. becomes a monster and chases heather back to silent hill yes so rather than kidnapping her because she's got powers like she goes out and she like kills a reporter a private investigator a, pe- a private investigator who is like an intriguing plot line and then he literally gets his fingers yeah because it's from the it's like, from the uh, game they're like and, oh we have to and then i die. We have to include the guy from the game no you don't yeah. like you know you could have no, done really don't. you know you could have done for these movies do whatever you want silent hill it's creepy it's spooky it doesn't have to be about a lesson it doesn't have to be about a town you could doesn't it, it could be about a cult but you can do anything you want you don't have to follow the game it's just a template and then you know what this game reminds me The second this, game. This... People say the second game is the best part. You know what the second game has nothing to do with? Alessa, the cult. The it's just the dark spirits and the happenings. And I think it's more about the, the, the Native Americans believed that Silent Hill was like a ancient vortex of evil. And now that the evil's been awakened, this like other guy goes on this adventure about his wife and like deals with grief. And people say it's the best game in the series. There's nothing new with these characters. It's a cult. You don't do that. What are you doing? What are you doing, movie? Terrible. Um, they're doing what? Uh, what was it? Last Jedi? Were they? Do, was the movie after Last Jedi? Uh, t- 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 Skywalker. That, Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like it's what Rise of Skywalker felt that ne- ne- needed to do. It's like we need to like fix all the plot holes from the first from the Last Jedi and exposition over things. And it's like. Or you could just not. You you could literally just let this go. Like literally do anything. My, else. My, yeah. Minus Sean Bean does not that the the main chick comes back for like two scenes where she's a ghost being like, Oh hey Sean. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hang out here. This, I don't is, know what to this do. is how the girl came back, but I can't come back. Okay. Cause uh, cause of an amulet. I only have Sean. one amulet. <laughs> yeah, like okay. Sweet. So dumb. Right. Uh least favorite part of the movie. Uh, we didn't really say anything for notable scene because it's just not. Uh, I have mentioned it a few times. Nothing happens in this movie. It feels like it moves way too fast. There are just a few scenes. There's no story. There's no character. There's no real reason to pay attention. A three-year movie. Could just be the opening of your movie. 
she'd be like, oh, I need to get back to Silent Hill. And like, oh, my God, my dad's gone. And then it could just be her riding on a bus to Silent Hill. Mm-hmm. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, Vincent, she can just meet Vincent anywhere. And he doesn't have to, like, lure her there. That doesn't have to be a plot line. I know it happened in the game, but, like, it doesn't have to be anything. Yeah. Yeah, no, this movie's... But, a, like, I also uh, don't want them to spend more time in Silent Hill because everything in Silent Hill was terrible. So, like, I, I, I just... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm conflicted because, yeah, the times not in Silent... Or times in Silent Hill suck. And yeah. then the times not in Silent Hill suck. Because this movie is just, like... It knows, like... It's trying to mimic what the first movie did. But it does it so poorly where, like, well, it's dark time now. Now monsters are here. Now they're gone. Now they're here again. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't really know what it's tr- doesn't even really know, like, the universe it's trying to exist in. This is, like, a parody of what somebody trying to do a sequel to uh, the Silent Hell movie comes it, across. It, like, yeah. it's it just, like, it's it's long. Like, to me, it's, yeah, it's 93 minutes. I must have restarted this movie or, or had to yep. like, because I've just zone yep. out and just like stare at my Three phone times. and like fuck. Three times. Go back. Yep. Go back. Restart. Yes. And you're like, okay, that this is the scene that I'm okay. And you're just like fuck. I'd be bored. I'd look away painful. and they'd be like, ah! yep. and you look back and you're like, wait, why are we? Why is you're, this here? Four scenes later, all of a sudden, Kit Harrington showing like showing a giant scar, a scar on yeah. him, and you're like, I missed it. like. <laughs> Where did you even get oh, it's introduced? Just like, it doesn't. And you like zoom back a little bit, and you're just like, Ugh. "Oh man." I wonder which's worse. And... Is this worse or like the Resident Evil? Remember the one we watched that I just didn't release because I think we ran out of time, and I was just like, literally, it's just you being like, "This is the fuck I hate this," and I'm like, "Okay, just calm. <laughs> like it's not the worst thing ever." Because <laughs> this think movie that exists. This is th- like this movie is just a vanilla nothing like this movie just doesn't do anything yeah like, it's just not, not offensive like it's not offensive because it's, it's just, not it like, doesn't yeah. like move the needle that's a thing doesn't, i'm like just, there's yeah. no like memorable yeah. scenes no cool characters what i remember from this movie is her bad outfits yeah. running around because her outfit kind of looks like the outfit from the game yeah. kind of and you're like you don't need to do this I, I, does, no, this does not need to happen no one likes this stuff so criticism this movie yeah. Kind of looks like Silent Hill, but it isn't scary. You know, Silent Hill is creepy. It's psychological. It's thrilling. It kind of chills you, right? But this movie is just lame CGI gore action movie. I don't even, like, it's not a horror movie. Like, at no point I'm watching this and I'm like, oh, I'm scared. Right? I just don't think that's a that's a thing. So, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's as scary as, like, the later Resident Evil movies, right? So, rather than learn the lesson from the first film or stay true to the, at the game series, they just kind of, like... We're like, ah, we'll just, like, make Resident Evil-ish kind of thing. People like that. Mila Jonovich makes tons of money doing that. If we just put a girl in, like, these, like, CGI monsters, that's that's what we want. And that's not what we wanted. Like, you could have just done something creepier and, like, saved money. And just had, like, darker lit shots and, like, scary hallways and, like, creepy sounds. Yeah, yeah. You really could have just spent your budget not being, like, but we need an indoor scene with exposition between these two characters. And we're like, it, it, it just it, no, we really didn't, right? We, uh, we, final we criticism. Um, man, if you're gonna make a budget movie, I mean, make it like thirty minutes long. I don't need to waste yeah. like a yeah. the bare minimum. Like this was the the bare minimum of what it is necessary to be a movie. And if all you have is the bare minimum. And maybe your director kills somebody, and your other director is like, "I'm not touching that with a 40 foot pole." Uh-huh. Maybe just don't do this. Maybe just don't do this. Maybe just like let the first one be its own kind of thing and do what's like Punisher Warzone did. The first Punisher with Thomas Jane was like, "Ah, eh, this is fine. It's a fine movie." And then they couldn't get Thomas Jane back, so they had to like recast it. So they came up with Punisher Warzone, did its own thing. They just did its own thing. Guess what? People didn't love it at first, but people go back now and watch it and like, hey, it's different. It's doing its own. It's thing. a thing. I appreciate this. Is just this. don't waste your time if you see it. Like, be like, no, it's yeah. not worth it. Yeah. Our po- no, we we yeah. learned our lesson. Yeah, sorry. Uh, praise final praise. Uh, the costumes and sets and monsters kind of look like Silent Hill. Kind of. I. I liked how many jackets they, they managed to always yeah. have their characters wearing because everybody always had like 17 layers. Yeah, Kid Harrington always got kidnapped. It was great. And are you buying it? Uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Tyson, final praise. 
Um, you know what? It's it's just like it's bland. I mean, if if you kind of want to watch a watered down movie, it's it, it. I've seen more watered down movies. Um, it's just not really memorable, but. I do laugh at a lot of this movie because there's sometimes where it's intentionally trying to be like, oh, see how spooky and scary this is with like the little girl, like Alessa or whatever. And sometimes she, the way she, the way she just like spaced out staring at the camera. It's just like, it makes me chuckle. Yeah. This movie it gives me a good chuckle because it's just kind of, it's that bad. So, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Uh, how are you buying it? Who was on the bus at the end? Is that from a game? Do we know? Is Silent Hill really dead? Because I think they were like, oh, now Alessa's not evil. It's not evil anymore. But I think mm-hmm, she... Mm-hmm. I, like, I'm like, but obviously it's still happening, guys. Look, there's a bus. Uh, yeah, and you'd think that they would try to stop that bus and the cops from going I, down that sure. road since there's nothing else on that yeah. road. Also, where did that truck come from? And, yeah, it's like behind them. And he was leaving... From so, Silent like, Hill. yeah, in theory, that the people driving down the road, they just go where the truck went. Right? right? They yeah. Follow the same road. Yeah, just because it's, like, misty on, again. Like, like, well, just don't go that way and we're fine. Okay. Yeah, just don't take a right down the, the across the cr- crazy bridge at the Z right. road. This is, like, the worst movie, video game movie. Here we go. Movies based on video games. List IMDb. I like the rating system. It's, like, kind of accurate. It, like, kind of makes sense if you kind of think of it as, like, like oh, it's a 7.4. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. All right. So, top movie. Legend or Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge, seven point four. Is that? I it's from twenty twenty. Okay, twenty twenty three Gran Turismo uh, is seven point one. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Right. Uh, Super Mario Brothers movie is a seven. Sure. Warcraft six point seven. Yeah, sure. Uh, Mortal Kombat Legend Snowblind is a six point seven. Snowblind. Twenty. What's all these? Mor- Why do I not know Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat shit? Legends. Um, Apparently, there's a series of movies about the Mortal Kombat universe. Resident Evil, the first one, six point six. Okay. Okay. Uh, Silent Hill, the first one, six point five. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it's. Ooh, it's fine. We have a bunch of six point fives here. So there was. Oh my gosh. They're all six point fives. Uh. So Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog two, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, Detective Pikachu. Dante's Inferno, an epic, an animated epic. Mortal Kombat Legends, The Battle of Realm, uh, all 6.5. Okay, yeah. I mean, these these are all like yeah. Ish. crappy movies, but they're watchable. Okay, yeah. 6.4s, and it's just like a lot. Okay, we're, I'm trying to make a point here. Uh, what's the movie we just watched? It's so forgettable. Uh, Silent um, Hill. Silent Hill. Where do you think the next Silent <laughs> Hill falls on this list? Silent Hill Revelations, oh. 4.9. Uh, it is below Dead Rising, Watchtower, Monster Hunters, Doom, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. Okay. So it's right there with the DOAs, the Tekken uh, of the yeah. world. So underneath of it, DOA, Tekken, Dead Rising, uh, Endgame, Borderlands, Super Mario. Super Borderlands is super solo. Street Fighter. I haven't also, also haven't watched Double it, Dragon. So. Six, oh, I kind of wanted to watch Double Dragon and play the game. I thought that'd be fun, but a 3.9. See? You know what? The apparently IMDb says the Resident Evil: Welcome to Raccoon City is a better movie than this movie by point three. I mean, it's definitely more. It evokes more emotion from you. The I would say this movie has no good parts. The movie the, that Resident Evil movie is not bad until. Shit goes down. As soon as a zombie shows up, it stops being yeah. good. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like but some that, of it, that, the, yeah. the build up, yeah. not bad. Okay. Not bad. Kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then like the rest of it is so offensive that it, like evokes emotion from you versus this is just so bland. You're like, I don't think I care. Yeah. yeah. It's just like it's in that bland, forgettable zone yeah. of like, there, it's not so terrible. There's not like, mm. like there's not even like the, the big climactic scene is what? Like, her hugging on a carousel. Uh, you know, it's like being like, pyramid head I love you. No, I love you. Carrie Ann Moss like, with a blade in her head. So, you, so a CGI flip fest. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, I'm glad this movie's over. It was more talk than it deserved. We went like for 30 minutes. Cool. Uh, we're back on Halloween with talking about the Silent Hill video game. I'm actually really excited about that. So see you later. Silent Hill revelations.
Yeah, take care. Okay. Probably won't review you again. Or ever think about you. Bye.